Today we are back on Girl Case on Facebook. Let's head on to chapter number three. Where John Benson says so there's a riot. Is it true Paul Gates was murdered? Who did it? Where do they live? We want answers now. Please, please, calm down. I told you. I don't have any information for you. If Giggs is dead, what's going to happen to Ipear? We want to know. We want Ipear. That guy looks very familiar. Listen up, everybody. Our investigation is classified, and we have no further details to give you. You're wasting your time. Go home. <laughs> That's dealt with. Well, now, since we're here, I should better go inside the store and re-examine the scene of the crime. Yeah, that, uh, that ringtone, man, throws you off a little bit. Do look like Bobby Prince. I was gonna say that guy looks, looks very familiar to somebody. Pretty sure. Phone butterfly. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, you don't mess with Glory, man. She's She's legit. The victim's famous gold eye pair phone. It's bound to give some answers. This looks like one of Gig's signature red v -nets. It looks like someone tore it. Maybe the old powder will tell us too. You want to examine this map of the greens? Well, let's uncover the strange markings on it. We've got to solve this case fast, otherwise the riot that happened outside will be the last. Dun dun dun. Okay, good. I'm not the only one who thought that that, that guy looks some, like someone very familiar, and, and Bobby seemed very legitimate. Ooh, so Apple's gonna buy everything up. Ace's Mac has iPairs logos all over it, but only a few of these logos mark current iPairs stores. That is definitely part of some kind of real estate deal, and you're right, once you see it mentioned making such deals with the game. This map makes it look like Geek's plan to completely take over the Greens. Let's go ask one to Sam about this. Interesting. Oh shoot, no, it's seven. Taking over the greens. Yeah, he was. I didn't want to speak ill of the dead earlier, but that guy was a real vulture. I worked five years to make the greens what it is today. I made new living spaces, brought in work, brought in restaurants with healthy food like lovely chai seeds. But then gigs arrived. He first played nice, convinced me to sell to him some buildings, but then he turned around and claimed credit for sprucing up the Gigs was worse than Napoleon. He wanted to strong me, arm me out of my own neighborhood. But the greens is mine, and I'll stop at nothing to keep it. Wow, it's clear you felt encroached upon, Sam, but we hope you didn't take it as a license to murder someone. Nice, that's a scratch. 
Dave and Eddie, thanks for the first time here. We got 75 people here, so we definitely have some new people in the chat. Always appreciate it. Make sure to hit the follow button if you haven't. No He'll let you know when I go live. It is 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's generally the time where Chapter 3 starts on a Thursday. And so, if you guys are wanting to see it, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, is when Chapter 3 will generally be live on my Twitch channel, Secret Agent AC. How you took from Geek's torn shirt is protein. Oh, call is Geek's bodyguard John Benson. He puts protein powder in shakes for breakfast. Who's he doing? Tear up one of Geek's for signature red shirts. Let's see what Benson has to say for himself. Is the team have the chance to poke around with the phone of iPhone, iPairs, uh, founder and CEO? Anything useful in solving his murder? Well, Gibbs was notoriously secretive and paranoid, so he didn't keep much data on the phone. But then I couldn't help myself and dug into his code a little bit. That's something super weird. You know Rosetta Pierce, founder of Dream Life? Of course, Rosetta was practically dancing on Gibbs' grave when we first met her. On the code of this phone's operating system, I found Rosetta's signature. She was the primary dev. Wait, what? But Rosetta said she and uh, Gibbs were competitors. Does this mean she actually worked with him? Come on, let's go find Rosetta for some answers. Ooh, interesting. Hey guys, appreciate it for the falls. I'll let you know when I go live on Twitch. Mr. Benson, why do you, you tear one of your plastic signature shirts? Oh, that. Well, I mean, I don't even try and lie. Well, the truth is, Gates made me so angry that I had to destroy something. It had to be something that reminded me of him. How do you make me angry? Mr. Giggs treated everyone around him like a circus animal. He didn't care that we were the people keeping him and his precious products safe. I like to read on the bus to work, and I showed up with my copy of User 404. He tore the book from my hand and threw it at me. He screamed, you are a shield. Shields absorb bullets, not books. So later I tore a shirt and went on a long run to calm down. I felt better after that. It sounds like Giggs was a nightmare to work for. I'll give you that. But if you took your resentment too far, you'll pay the price. Mr. Yes, Pierce, how did it happen that you wrote the code for Paul Gates' iPair iPhone? Oh, so he still relied on a system I built for his private use? I guess I can be proud of that. The fact is, I had an internship at iPair when I was 15. I'm so brilliant, Geeks wanted to work directly with me to develop his own special phone. Of course, Geeks showed his true colors. Why would happen? Well, Geeks claimed I had leaked iPair secrets on my blog. I nearly spat out my chia seeds right now. Geeks said that I, Rosetta Pierce, was untrustworthy and threw me out of his company like some kind of thief. And now, look at him. And look at me. Looks like I'm the one having the last laugh. She's a little crazy. Ace, I've been trying to continue the media while you investigate Geek's murder, but I don't know how much longer I can hold it. What's your progress? Well, between an offended bodyguard and a tech genius with a grudge, it seems Gig had a talent for turning people against him. That, and apparently he was planning to acquire a lot of property in the Greens, which had one, two, Sam Furious. So he made progress with the motives, but what we're sorely lacking is evidence. Well, we know where to get it. We know the killer used the green line to get to the crime scene. We better do a second sweep. Let's go. Chief actually talked to us. She never talks to us, so you know it's true. You know it's serious. It's so serious. Let's search the great clues. 
cannot be used or for for the book that inspired the killer's threat. And there's a page torn from it. The tear matches the page you found taped to the cutout of Paul Gates. This is the killer's copy. There's some fibers caught in the crease. Let's collect them for testing. Quickly now, we're on the killer's trail. I like Diane as well. Maybe not as much as Chief King, but she's probably second. She's been She's very, uh, sounds she has like a good authority. authoritarian type. Uh, Ace, the body found under all these pierces is secotane. This is the poison that the killer used. Given where we're at, there's no doubt the killer stash here. I rushed to call the lab for a closer examination. Taste in clothing. You may like the killer's fashion sense, but I don't approve of their taste for murder or gaining on a mace. It's definitely not the bodyguard then. Come here, what can you tell us about the killer's poison bottle? I can tell you the killer wasn't smart enough to use gloves when he handled his bottle, so they left behind some valuable evidence. And outside of the bottle, I found residue of topical cream for treating rashes. This tells me that the killer has a rash and left some cream in the bottle while holding it. We're getting closer, Ace. This killer is itching to be caught. I don't have enough evidence. Let's go arrest the person who murdered I Pierce CEO Paul Giggs. You're under arrest for your father's murder. You killed your own father with a poison pear. Why? Wait, what are you talking about? Clearly, the reference was the logo of his company. It was probably an angry customer. Believe me, he had plenty. We also found the bottle of poison you used, and your rash cream was all over it. Just because the killer's rash doesn't mean it's me. That may be true, but we found your chia seed residue on the syringe you used to administer the poison. Why, you think I'm the only person? Same old, same old. Give it up, Waldo. We know you called your dad Tyrant, who had to meet his maker. The only question is because that was the truth. He was a tyrant. He deserved to die. Whoa. You were the one who told us that your father was absent more than anything. They left you alone to do what you wanted. Well, he did until I dropped out of college and dad decided he needed to get a real job. I didn't care what my interests were. He was going to make me work for iPair. He said that being his son meant I had to take over his legacy. Suddenly, all that freedom I had was gone. I sat through hours and hours of eye pair training. I felt like an animal, and it came out. Tears of dad spent years throwing money at me and calling it parenting, and suddenly he turns around and wants to control every part of my life. You can't cage my spirit like that. I had to run free. So you thought you could kill him to get your inheritance to do whatever you want? You don't get his it. I don't want his money. I want freedom. Murder is no way to get freedom, and since you're going to prison, Waldo Giggs, you're under arrest. Waldo Giggs, you are charged with murder, murder by poisoning of your father, Paul Giggs. How do you plead? I'm guilty, but so is my father, for limiting my freedom. My teenage daughter has said similar things to me when I asked her to turn down the music in her room. While she might be difficult and keeps, keeps blasting the hinge at full volume, murder is taking your anger a step too far. You should be old enough to, to know that. And by now, my 
by trying to carve out your freedom, you trap yourself instead. Mr. Giggs is hereby sentences you to 15 years in prison. Oh, you're just like my father. You only want me to suffer. 15 years should have been 20, 25. Families are always so difficult, Ace. Of course, most parent-child conflicts don't escalate to the point of murder. While that I can agree with Waldo's methods, parental expectations can be heavyweight. That's something I'm familiar with as well. When I was in high school, I said I wanted to work for the police, and my mother absolutely freaked. She said police work was too dangerous, and she spent months trying to convince me to go into accounting or something like that. In the end, we've got, got to all find our own paths. Some are more obvious than others, but are all are more difficult in their own ways. But I'm a believer in the giving up, and I bet neither are you, Ace. So let's buck up and get back to work. My guess is he got a light sentence because he's super rich. So we got really nice lawyers. Anyways, guys, is this just fantasy? Is the additional investigation? See you guys there. It's been Pitching Easy 8. Over and out.